In April, Newstime revealed what Consumer NZ calls disturbingly high margins supermarkets make on the food they sell. In some cases, they're pocketing more than half the shelf price. Now we can reveal just how much those margins have grown, known in supplier circles as margin creep. Two long-time suppliers who want to remain anonymous say the cut the supermarkets make on their products has more than doubled since the 1990s. They both sell dry packaged products. Back then, they say the supermarkets took 12 to 15 per cent. Today, it's between 35 and 41 per cent. That means if their food item sells for a dollar, the supermarket is now taking around 25 cents more than it was 30 years ago. Food prices are starting to come down slightly, but the weekly shop is still almost 10% more expensive than a year ago. Many suppliers are telling us they're trying their best to keep prices down, but say there's only so much they can absorb when supermarkets take such a high margin. It's very difficult to get suppliers to go on the record because they're afraid of retribution from, from uh, their supermarket clients. But uh, yeah, it is. we are hearing uh, of disturbingly high margins. In April, we spoke to 46 suppliers who identified gross profit margins as high as 55%. The vast majority told us supermarkets took between 30 and 40 per cent of the shelf price. They told us they and the consumer were getting screwed. It's not even a negotiation. You're either coming in at their terms or you're not coming in. It's limitless. Their power is limitless. It's disappointing. It's degrading, you know. It makes you wonder why you even bother. After we aired that story, more suppliers got in touch. Two were able to give us information dating back to the 1990s. They show the percentage supermarkets take on their products has more than doubled since then. Those who represent suppliers say the shift over time has been dramatic. The margin for retailers' expectations upon suppliers has shifted significantly over the last 20 to 25 years. Um, it's come for a variety of reasons, but there have been some significant increases in, in the percentage margin delivered to the head office of the retailer. We asked the supermarkets why their gross profit margins for our two suppliers' products have gone up so much. Countdown's owner, Woolworths NZ, said providing information about the 1990s is not something we can do, as we're a different business with different owners now. New Zealand gross margin is at 23.1%. Out of that, we have to cover our cost of doing business. We'd encourage any supplier who has concerns to get in touch with us. Foodstuff said it can't respond in a valuable and accurate way to the limited and anonymous information provided. The margins they're making aren't acceptable and we're taking action on it. Fairer prices are our top priority. After a Commerce Commission probe found supermarkets made excess profits of more than a million dollars a day, the government brought in the Grocery Competition Act, which includes a new grocery commissioner. The profit margins we know are higher than they should be and the market study has indicated that. He's asking suppliers to come to him at his 25-strong team with complaints about margin creep for them to investigate and is promising to take action if necessary.